So this machine has been developed by Eternam, which is a company that was uh, created by uh, Mr. Michael uh, Pezzo, who is an enologist from, uh, from Bordeaux and who worked with us during almost three years to build up this machine. The machine is to recork uh, old vintages. Uh, corks have a, have a hope of life of, let's say, 30 to 50 years. After 50 years, uh, there is not a 100% guarantee that they, uh, uh, they will continue to protect, uh, to protect the wine. So uh, it is a tradition uh, in Bordeaux that we, uh, and all over the world, that after 30, 50 years or, or 60 years, we recork uh, the, the wine. The big problem when you recork most of the time is that uh, is done in the cellar with no special care. Well, with a lot of care because they are valuable uh, bottles, so they try not to break them, but not so much care in terms of hygiene. So what we've done here is try to protect the wine um, and make sure that everything is done to keep its entire quality. Um, so what is doing here, we have little uh, toes which are uh, steamed, you see the smokes, they are steamed and they are perfectly uh, sterile. So he will clean the neck here. All those bottles have been standing up for a minimum 12 hours so that all the deposit goes down and there is no wine next to the, next to the uh, cough. We clean uh, the neck and then we'll take to the next process here. We put a little screw in the, uh, in the cork. And, and then we will extract the, uh, the cork. Very slowly. And with these little tubes here, we will inject nitrogen. So we will protect the wine from any contact with the air in the cellar. <laughs> so here they extract the cork. It stops so that because at the end, you know, you have this vacuum here. So it, you need to slow down the extractions in order to avoid uh, putting some cork in the, uh, in the wine. Then here we will refill under nitrogen here we will refill the wine the bottle with the same vintage from the same lot uh, which is on the other side of the machine and the bottle is of course under nitrogen so everything is protected from aeration what you can see here it's a, even though it's it's a beautiful a beautiful cork so maybe this one this cork would have waited another 10 to 15 years but we're better off to change it now we're using perfectly selected uh, cork, and uh, so we'll give it an extra 50 years of life. So refill the cork here. And then this lady here will drive down the camera in the neck of the of the bottle so she will check and you will see there is a little cork here on the side so she she will extract this little cork here on the side up oh, it has been vacuumed sucked out of the out of the bottle the surface of the wine is perfectly clean the neck of the of the bottle is perfectly clean so we are ready to recork it. All the corks are storage here and they go automatically down so we don't touch, there is no hand uh, uh, production or etc. And the corks go down. And then here, you will have a laser to engrave the date of the recorking. Here, that's a little laser on the other side that will engrave uh, the glass.
Okay. So, so the, the date of the operation will be printed on the cork, will be printed on the, on the glass of the bottle, and will also be printed on the back label of the bottle. So we give all the guarantees. But, so every bottle here will keep his own cork. So we will, at the end of uh, every two hours, uh, the cellar master or myself, we go here and we check all the corks. If a cork is no good, then we put the bottle on the side. And um, so we give an extra guarantee of quality control. Now, if you want to see on the other side, this is a bottle that comes exactly from the same uh, lot that has been agreed this morning and that is used to fill up the wine. So we don't put a little, uh, we don't put, uh, we put exactly the same wine to top up the bottle. And it's done.